It's such a joy when you go and stand in those sets for the first time and your breath's taken away. It was seriously just felt like time travel, just because it was all I could see walking down that laneway and the level of detail. The tents had gone up and the sheets had been aged and there were bottles and there were little, you know, Chinese bowls for food and there was just so much brilliant veracity in the detail. I just loved it. What we've done is we've built part of a street, which is an early Gold Rush era street from the 1850s, 1851 to be exact. They took a, a bit of bushland, a bit of Australian bushland, and they made it feel like a world. And it's such a clever, wonderful thing to do, and they do it on small budgets with ingenuity and great heart. And I think that comes to life in the screen. It's fantastic. Walk up here, that is a liquor store. Crossing across to the other side here, this is a tinware and ropeware, and this is a hardware sign. So this is where they buy their gold mining provisions. Most of the stuff in this town is shot at night. In a normal street, you know, you'd have street lights, but in the Gold Rush era, they only really had candles and, and actually early oil lamps like this. So we've got about 20 or 30 of these oil lamps which will be dotted through the street. Costume and art work quite closely together, particularly with these period pieces. And we did talk a lot about the colour palette together and. Paddy, Reardon and I would, would often, you know, consult each other about different things. It's really sort of specific things like the colour of curtains and he'd show me spaces and the layout so I could get it in my head how it was all going to sort of fit in. Paddy Reardon's designed all three seasons of Glitch and he is fantastic. This is all his work in terms of design. I'm working with Cappy who's our costume designer and, and John Logue on makeup and I think the three of them as our creative heads of department really did a fantastic thing in bringing those goldfields to life.